Uh, the concept of the brake lens is not something that, and I've looked it up, and of course, what did I get was this incredible, my brother-in-law's a geologist, mm -hmm. you know, I might as well have talked to him, and you know, again, it could, it's like the guns, it could have been Greek. It, it obviously has something to do with... Uh, it's kind of like badlands preceding the foothills. Um, they've got those around here, you know, if you go out about 10 miles before you get to the mountains, it's really rough, a lot of arroyos, kind of um, just rough and rugged country before the actual formal um, foothills start. Gotcha. And it's a, good, it's a great place for, for game uh -huh. because they can, they can hide so easily. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, this bend right here, uh, I tend to... I can't really write about nature or um, landscape unless I've been there, and and then I then I incorporate it, um, and it, it it grounds it to me. And this particular bend of the North Platte River right here is what I had in mind. I don't know if you remember this from Force of Nature, where a fisherman is out in the river, and he looks up and sees a drift boat coming right, down. Right, All, right, it didn't right, look right. like there's anybody in it until it practically bumps against them and it's three bodies <laughs> inside. Right, right. And it, to me, the fisherman is right here and the boat is coming down the river right here. Right. So I use different parts, even though in the books, I say it's in the Bighorns and it's the 12 Sleep River. Mm -hmm. This is what I particularly have in mind. And yeah. um, it's like I was telling you earlier in the new book, uh, three inch teeth, it begins on a particular bend of the river with a fly fisherman right. and a grizzly bear right. um, coming down and going across the river, getting in before he can get to shore. And did you say you were also thinking of a specific place? Uh, that's a place where you go fly fishing that's, and you were thinking about that slope up there and whether a bear could come down. Right. So when, um, is it roughly this width at that same place when, you, when Hupmacher is attacked? Absolutely. Yep. So the bear is coming down a slope, crossing this amount. Yeah, not a lot of, yeah, it's no. not a huge wide river. Right, right. Um, God, this is great to be able to have that in my head. Uh, but that, that's one of the things the, the, uh, the game and fish um, grizzly bear expert told, because I said, I got this part where a grizzly bear crosses the river and gets a guy in the river. Is that ever possible? And he said, they had GoPro footage of a grizzly bear swimming after a drift boat on the Snake River last year, and the, and the fishing guide hitting at it with an oar. So he said, yeah, that's possible. <laughs> and I said, wow, you know, I, I just wanted to make it dramatic.